And hello folks, this is your old pal on Cloud. This is for David Lynn Pepper Principal. He has 136 case subs, I gotta check on the figures. Uh, 160 or 70 videos, 36 shorts, 8 lives. Uh, David's second channel, David Lynn's Taco Talk. Still have to check on the subs. 10 videos, 10 shorts, 3 lives. Okay. Because D David doesn't list between the two channels, it gets confusing. Okay, look, please check out David Lynn, Purple Principal. Now, David was at to give me, you know, emergency food kits, and we do rationing and we do MREs and stuff like that. And I keep telling David that's only certain parts of America that has this knowledge. A lot of people, they don't. Okay. And I've been work, racking my brains, figuring out a simple system that anybody could go to, any Walmart, supermarket, Dollar Tree, to do this. It's not rocket science, okay? First thing, both me and David lives in a very hot climate during the summer. It gets here like 116 dry heat. David has humidity because he lives in Texas off the coast. All right, so... I've been working on this for a long time. All right. It all should fit in one of these size coolers. I forget what size it is, but it's pretty big. All right. There's two coolers. One for the equipment and one for the uh, food stuff. You want to keep the food stuff uh, from perishing in the heat. So it's insulated. You can put two cool packs in here and it'll keep your food nice and fresh. Reason why I tested it myself. I don't trust nobody. I don't trust Link. Oh God, that hurt. I don't trust Link's anybody. I do my own research and I check everything when it gets 116 outside and you have food in a cooler usually it's 10 to 20 degrees difference all right but still that's too hot so if you put some ice packs or cool packs in there your food will stay fresher a lot of people are, i have amory's in a bag your car gets up to 143 degrees is like cooking babies Think what happens to your food. Mmm, that's really tasty MREs in 143 degrees. Yeah, put that for a month. <sighs> okay, hard winter is coming. Budget emergency food kit for one to two persons, for retired, for the elderly, for disabled, for apartment dwellers, Generation Z, they have no clue, for suburban families, and this is for my friends in the Philippines, Japan, uh, let's see, Philippines, Japan, India, parts of Australia, I, you know, it's Indonesia, Malaysia, it's like a lot of people, they don't teach this. And a lot of people cannot get MREs. Okay, we're going to cover the food portion. That's part one. You want a can of sardines or sprat, sprats. It's a type of small you know, freshwater fish. I like those. Hey, if you eat in Russia, you eat a lot of those, you get used to it. But a small can of sardines or sprats. And... This is the size of the sardines, not rocket science. All this fits in a small box. I don't know where I put it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right here. Okay. Fits in a small box. It's not rocket science, folks. And let's see. I don't have the bag of semi 
sweet chocolate because my niece and their grand niece and nephews took that. They say chocolate, ran amok. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna flip it around a bit. Two cans of corned beef. If you're Muslim, corned beef's always hatal, so you could eat that. Me, I like spam, so instead of corned beef, I'll get a spam instead. So two cans of either of those. All right, let's flip that back over. All right, uh, two cans of uh, one can of mac and cheese. I don't like mac. So I'll get, I, they have, Chef 4 ID makes mac and cheese, but I like beefaroni. Okay, Hubble's cat likes beef, uh, mac and cheese like that. And they have vegan too. And then also I'll get a can, because I hate ravioli all the time, I'll get a can of spaghetti and meatballs. Here's a can of ravioli. I get the minis because if you split a can with another person, it's good for two people. Okay. Uh, six bars of chocolate. I live in the desert area, so I had to switch out. You get six large bars of any kind of candy bar that doesn't melt. If you're in a cooler climate, I will get six bar large bars of chocolate. Me, I get payday to get six of them. Okay, or any other type of candy bar you like to eat. But six of those. Put that right there. All right, and then let's see. A can of Nido, that's powdered milk, fortified. All right, because a lot of people look at me, why this? Okay, it's cheaper, it's easier. Instead of coffee creamer, I use this. And that would take care of it. All right, okay, let's see. Okay, so we went over a uh, can of sardines or sprats, a box of semi uh, bag of semi sweet chocolate, one can of mac and cheese. I don't like mac and cheese. Two cans of ravioli that would drive me nuts. So I get one can of spaghetti and meatball and one can of ravioli. Uh, can of Nino milk. All right. Uh, current pork and beans I don't like. If it's in Europe and if it's Heinz, I get it there. It's not bad. In America, eh. So instead I'll get ranch style beans. Two cans of those, or uh, uh, beans and tomato sauce. Either way, okay. And uh, let's see, eight packs. Okay, I talked about this before. It is eight packs of dehydrated soup. Now, why eight packs? If you have people and they're hungry and this is fits in a kit, all right. I got four packages of Nor. All right. What I also do is for each one I'll tape a small, uh, what you might call it, bag, uh, a seal and meal bag full of dry vegetables, so it becomes instant vegetable soup. Same goes with the chicken soup. Okay, think of it. And I have nine bags actually. <laughs> okay, all this. Fairly simple, folks, not rocket science. Eight packs of instant soup. All right, one small jar of bouillon. Boyan cubes, chicken or beef, your choice. 
They also have vegetarian too. Yeah, let's see. One can of cocoa. Now, if you want to save space, you could get uh, packages. About, I think, 10 packages or 4 packages of cocoa. I use this for baking and also making other things. Let's see. I don't have this small bag of... Another bag of chicken soup. Oh, let's see. I don't have the small bag of pancake flour. I do have a small one. It is a small size. It's good for about a week. Feeds two people. And you know, you don't want a huge bag. You want it small enough. It has to be portable. All right. A small container of oil. You get the pint size of these at the Dollar Tree. Okay. I don't have it. My nephew took it. It's a small picnic size of salt and pepper. And that only costs like a buck or three. All right. A pound of sugar. I always get these cans. You can get the hardware store. I put the sugar in a plastic bag and I put the pot bag in here for two reasons. It's rodent proof and bug proof. But they say, it's lighter in a plastic bag. And I like, you ever clean up after a rat or a rodent or vermin goes through it? It's not very nice. So I usually put my uh, sugar in here. Okay. Don't have it. They took it. A uh, jar of mixed nuts. A big jar. Okay. And also raisins. I tend to get a pack of the individual size. It's a lot easier. I do get bulk oatmeal. All right, not the big one, but the small one that fit in a box like this. Okay. Uh, that'll be about two pounds of oatmeal. And then two cans of beef stew. Where did I put it? One second. I gotta look around where I put it. Sorry about that. I had to look around a bit. But beef stew. <sighs> Swear to God. It's so sticky today, but beef stew. You want two cans of that. And then you need baking powder. And a th big thing of flour. Baking uh, powder and flour. Make dumplings, biscuits. All right. Now, a lot of you drink flavored water. Me and David, we tend, if I'm a real, on a tight budget, I'll get these little packs of coffee. That's worth seven each, one coffee a day for 14 days. Okay. And like I said, you have a pound of sugar. Sweeten your coffee. And not last but not least, crackers. I get the four pack. Okay. This is unsalted top of saltine crackers. I get a four pack. And that should all fit inside uh, the cooler. A lot of people tend to overload their coolers all right you want the little space to keep it cool and anything you can forage or salvage or anything goes into that cooler okay i'll try to get this listed down all right it's fairly simple it's easy to do okay i'll have it all listed down below in the description a uh, hard winter's coming it's a budget emergency kit for one or two persons for retired elderly disabled for apartment gen uh, uh, doors, Generation Z, and for suburban families. Okay? Fairly simple. Not rocket science. Alright? And it should fit in a box like this. If it doesn't fit, 
I don't know because it has to space connotations. All right, folks, grow a garden, long live the Republic, God bless. And when I say grow a garden, it should feed you 50%. If we have a really bad event, okay, it's what you got here for food. All right, but this is just a minor emergency for like two or three days or a week or less. But if it's really bad, you're screwed. Because a lot of people, they'll scavenge, they'll eat their family pets, they'll eat their kids. All right, they don't have enough food. A lot of people think, we have plenty of food. No, you don't. All right, I have to put my foot down on that. All right, folks, I'll catch you later. God bless. All of this is illusion. Remember that. And long live the Republic for everybody else in different parts of the world. Try this. It's not hard. You don't need fancy MREs or freeze dried. Just simple things you could pick up here and there. And you have a nice day. And if you want to get rid of it, donate it to your local food bank. And you have a nice day, folks. God bless. Do something good. Bye.